Budgeting and saving money don't come naturally to many people for obvious reasons. Spending money on non-essentials is so easy, even if you're committed to a well-laid spending plan. Budgeting means you're spending with purpose before the month begins. Unfortunately, many people view a budget as a straitjacket that will keep them from doing what they want. But that couldn't be further from the truth. A budget doesn't limit your freedom, it gives you freedom. It's really all about being intentional with where your money goes. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn about what is budgeting and how can it be started. If you are new here, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. The first thing we should know that how can budgeting help you? A budget is going to give you an action plan and clear picture of where your money is ending up each month. Budgeting will help you achieve the goals you're working towards, whether that's getting out of the debt, saving for retirement, or just trying to keep your grocery bill from getting out of hand. When you see planning a budget as simply spending your money intentionally, you can actually find more freedom to spend. Once something has been budgeted for, you'll be able to spend that money without feeling guilty. So. Are you ready to get started? Here are the top 12 budgeting tips. Number 1. Budget to zero before the month begins. This means before the month even starts, you're making a plan and giving every dollar a name. It's called a zero-based budget. Now that doesn't mean you have zero dollars in your bank account, it just means your income minus all your expenses equals zero. Number 2. Do the budget together. If you're married, sit down once a month and have a family budgeting night. You need to get on the same page with money, so set goals together and dream about what the future will look like. Remember, if the two of you are one, your bank accounts should be one too. It's no longer your money or my money, it's our money. And if you're single, find someone who can act as your accountability partner and help you stick to your goals. Number 3. Remember that every month is different. Some months you'll have to budget for things like back-to-school supplies or routine car maintenance. Other months you'll be saving for things like vacation, birthdays, and holidays. Regardless of the occasion, make sure you prepare for those expenses in the budget. Be sure to adjust your budget each month as things change. Make a savings fund. You can stash cash in throughout the year. When you don't have a plan, you're going to get stressed. Number 4. Start with the most important categories first. Giving and saving are at the top of the list, and then comes the four walls. Food, utilities, shelter and transportation. Once your true necessities are taken care of, you can fill in the rest of the categories in your budget. Number 5. Pay off your debt. If you have debt, paying it off needs to be a top priority. Using the debt snowball method and the seven baby steps to get rid of debt as fast as you can. Attack it. Get mad at it. Stop letting debt rob you of the very thing that helps you win with your income. Number 6. Don't be afraid to trim the budget. Brace yourself. It might be time for some budget cuts in your life. If things are tight right now, you can save money quickly by canceling your cable, dining out less, and shopping at discount clothing and grocery stores. Remember, your budget cuts are only temporary. You can always make adjustments later on. Number 7. Make a schedule and stick to it. While you're making a budget part of your monthly routine, why not pick some specific dates for other expenses? You could set up auto drafts out of your checking account to pay your bills. Or you could buy your groceries on the set day every week or twice a month. When you know what to expect and when to expect it, you take a lot of stress and potential problems out of the picture. Number 7. Track your progress. It's important to check your progress from time to time. If you're married, get together and talk about your goals. If not, find someone to check in with. Talk about how budgeting is helping you move forward. Think about how you can tighten spending or maybe even pick up extra income so you can get to those goals faster. And don't forget to celebrate the small wins. Number 8. Create a buffer in your budget. Put a small amount of money aside for unexpected expenses throughout the month. Label this as your miscellaneous category in your budget. That way, when something comes up, you can cover it without taking away money you've already put somewhere else. Keep track of expenses that frequently end up in this category. Number 9. Cut up your credit cards. 
If you're really committed to sticking to a budget and getting out of debt, you need to ditch those credit cards for good. Stop using them, cut them up, shred them, or even make a craft project out of them. Whatever you do, get them out of your life. Number 10. Use cash for certain budget categories that trip you up. If you're constantly overspending on your grocery budget for fun money, cash out those categories and use the envelope system to hold you accountable. Just go to the bank and pull out the cash amount you've budgeted for that category. Once the cash runs out, stop spending. It's the ultimate accountability partner. Number 11. Try an online budget tool. If pen and paper aren't your thing, it's time to join the 21st century and use a budgeting tool, like every dollar. You can focus on planning a budget and tracking your spending from the comfort of your smartphone. Plus, you can sync up your budget with your spouse, which is great for keeping that communication open. Number 12. Give yourself lots of grace. It usually takes three to four months to get a handle on the whole budgeting thing. It won't be perfect the first time or the second, but you'll get there. Whether you're paying off student loans, building up your emergency fund, or paying off your mortgage, you need to focus on your why. What's the reason you're making these sacrifices? Be content and quit the comparison. You have much more than you realize. Don't compare your situation to anyone else's. Comparison will not only rob you of your joy, but also your paycheck. Keep moving forward and doing what's right for your family. So guys, that was all about today's topic. See you soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.